the girls don't understand. They don't understand because like, I'm on my eighth tour of Grinders, so girls just don't get it. They have no. They're like, you should do Hinge. I looked at my girlfriend's phone. She's talking to some guy on Hinge. It is gays. It is wild. The kind of screening process women have to get through and the questions they have to ask men to make sure they're not fucking crazy. My friend literally asked the guy, "Do you have friends?" <laughs> Do you have fingerprints? Do you have, I mean, it's like, my screening process, if I'm talking to you and you use good grammar, I will fuck you. <laughs> oh, if you know how to use a semicolon, get in this colon. I, I don't have that kind of confidence. A semicolon? I do feel bad for women. You guys have to go through so much. I read this article, it was on Buzzfeed, so it's not real, but, um, <laughs> Not a real article, but it was like 25 things women need to do to protect themselves. And it was, I mean, the friend was like, don't be alone at night. Don't walk on the same sidewalk as a man. Don't be alone in a park. Don't look at a man directly in the eye. And as I'm going down, I'm like, everything that women do to protect themselves from men are all things that gay men do to find other men. <laughs> Be alone at night in a park. <laughs> and stare at him directly in the eye. <laughs> and that's the thing I try and explain to straight people is that gay people, we have a power. We can talk to gay men from across the room with just looks, full blown conversations. I don't mean small talk. I mean, look, you're with your friends, you're at a gay bar, you walk in, it's super crazy, right? And you see this guy and you're like, oh my God, there's this really hot guy over there. I'm gonna go in for the first look. Okay, all right, okay. All right, he looks back. I'm gonna go in for the second look. Okay. Right. He's in med school. we're gonna fuck. I'll be back in 10, you guys. Just... <laughs> <laughs>